Hello everyone, today we're going to do a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be doing a build tutorial of this lovely house behind me. So let's get into that instructional video on how to build this beautiful house. Okay, so how we start this is by doing a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then count that last block you placed as one, and then go five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, place another block and then get, move out one. One, two, three, four. Place another block as the corner and go a row of four. One, two, three, four. Place another block as the corner, then go a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then a row of counting the last block you placed as one, go a row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That last block you place is your first block. Do a row of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Count that last block as 1 and do a row of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Place a corner block, and then one, do a row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last block you place is a one, do a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Last block you placed, as it, count it as one, and do a row of four. One, two, three, four. Place another block as a corner and move it out one. One, two, three, four. Place a corner block and do a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Place a corner block and do a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, last block you place says your first block. One, and do a row of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, last block you placed as your first block, do a row of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, corner block, move out one. Now, do a row of 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, that last block you placed as your first block, one, and do a row of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now place a corner block and do a row of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I miscounted. Do a row of six. So yes, this is our layout for our build. Now replace all the all the grass blocks in this layout for spruce. Like this. Replace it with the spruce spruce planks. Now that we got the floor removed and replaced with the spruce planks, we can work on the walls and the doors and the windows and all that fun stuff that goes into houses. Okay, so first off, the front door. So we count three, we four, and then we blank the fourth block and replace it with the door. Then, on the other side, over here, we count two, replace these two with, actually, we place underneath that with the, and then, ta-da! doors. I need to do that to the other side real quick. Doors. That's the back door or the front door. Actually, depending on how you want to lay the house out, it's the front door. 
or at the back door. Who knows? Okay, so now let's get working on the walls. So the wall with the sm walls with the smooth stone is six high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now on the top we have the cut granite or cut uh, cut sandstone on top like that. And now right above this door we have after we cut or put this up like that. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to grab a thing of glass. So let's remove the planks because we don't need them. And there. So we have a glass piece there. So for right now, we're just going to be doing the basic wall structure of the house. Oh, and the windows. We're going to be adding the windows as well. Well, that's... So, first off, we just need this as the first wall. We'll add the little direct decorations that I have on that one over here once we get the walls done and the roof. So, for the rest of the thing, you're just going to be doing this. And then, once, once you get over here, you're going to put two windows like that. Oh, it started to rain. So now we have another window. So one there, one here, and one here. Oops, not on the quarter. <laughs> so there's our windows there. So now we go like this and build the wall up around them. The next window is going to be a little bit more interesting. So here we have a block that goes one, then you have over, and then you have down, and then you have over again, and then down again, and then it stops. So that's the interesting window we have here. And now we fill it in with the sandstone. And then we have windows here, which are, checking over there to make sure, they're just two wide, one, two, and then the gap, and then one, two, and then gap again, and one, two. Then we place the blocks around it again. Okay, so here we have another three high window, and it starts here on the corner, one, two, three, and then a one space gap, and then one, two, three again, and then a one space gap, and a one, two, three blocks again, and once more, one, two, three, like that. And now, as we do with every window, we block it around with the sandstone, the smooth stance, sandstone. And then on top, we put the cut sand, sand, sandstone on top there. And then on the other side, we don't have one, but there we will. Okay, so 
Okay, so we have here a gap in between the window and the corner. So then we have another three high window. Most of these are going to be a three high window set. So, oops. And then one, two, three, three on a row on this side. And then we just block it in with the uh, sandstone. Now, we do have windows going after this curve here. We have windows, straight, uh, straight three line windows, every other block on that end. And I'll show you how we're doing that one as well. So here we build up like this and then go just like that, like a normal corner. Okay, so then we take another block, wait, whoa. Then we take another break between the corner and the glass. And then we actually take a two block break between every window. I was mistaken earlier. Okay, so then we go like this one more time. And then we put a window. Three high window, two blocks, three high window, two blocks, a three high window, two blocks, a three high window. And then we have just a three block gap between the corner. So yeah, then we fill this in and go on to the next wall. Okay, so here we also have a two gap between each window. So three, two gap, three, two gap, three. And then all we have to do is finish off the wall here and then we can show, I can show you how we're doing the roof. So the roof is a little different than most, so here we're just going to take a slab and put it up at the bottom of the cut slabs, or the cut, the cut sandstone. And then we're just going to cover it like we did the floor with the, uh, just fill the whole thing with the slabs, and then we can work on the interior and then after the interior we can work on the exterior decorations okay now that we got the roof completed now we just have to do the interior of this wonderfully empty house okay so first off i had made a carpet in my initial design for this so it would be a three by a bunch um, so it'd be three and then all the way across till one block away from the wall over here so it'd be like that then all the way down and I did a little bit of a trick that I had seen before with this where I cover most of it with wool but another part, I put a lantern underneath and uh, put a piece of carpet so that we have some lighting. So like that. And then you put a lantern and another lantern and another lantern and another lantern and another one and another one. You don't have to put it there. That's just how I had done. I did it now. Oh, I can't. There we go. And... Now we got a little bit of lighting and a nice little carpet. Now I also had done it over here. Basically the same concept, just by just a two by two, or two by however long this is, until just one block away from the wall. And then we did the same concept, except obviously a little bit different because we don't have as much space lanterns in. So put the lanterns in wherever you decide to put the lanterns for the best quality of light. And 
there. Okay, so now that we got the carpets in, we need to work on the living spaces. Okay, so what we do here for the living spaces is we go seven across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we indent one like that. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three. Then a wall. Just connecting that up. Okay, now there is a wall here. And this is just a bathroom area right here. So put a door there, and then two away from the wall here. So one, two, and then double doors. And then over here, we have the door right here. So that's the living and bedroom area. After I put a wall up, it will look more like what it is intended to be. Now, I was thinking that we could crown the top of this with the cut sandstone. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I think it l makes it a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to put the walls up and then start decorating the rooms. So I'm kind of making this house a little bit more like a house that you would have for, for sale. So I'm basically going to put what would normally be in a house. So I'm going to, I made the rooms, and I am going to be putting the kitchen in. And I will be putting the library that is over here in. But other than that, you guys feel free to change whatever you want about this house. Okay, so for the kitchen, we are going to place a crafting table here and then a stone slab as a like countertop space and then another stone slab until you get over here and then you have a four wide oven or two by two wide oven some more slabs and that's that side of the kitchen and then you have over here, I'm going to come back. So you have the door and you have the fridge, which I might just make a double wide fridge because you gotta have a little bit of a thing going on. This is a nice house. You gotta have some nice furnishing and stuff. So here's another part of the thing. And then underneath, so you have like cabinets and stuff you put barrels underneath here so you can have as much storage as possible now to cover that up you want to put some trap doors now over here's a little bit odd but you can mess with this a little bit. Either you can push the uh, fridge over, like... This. And then you have a two-wide fridge a little bit more symmetrical with the oven. And then... It's still a little odd, actually. Well, it's fine. Let's go like this, and then you have, oops, and then you have a nice kitchen with no lighting. That's odd. No lighting at all. And no sink. I just realized we need a sink. So let's put a cauldron right next to, or actually, a hopper. Because a hopper looks a bit like a sink to me, personally. Let's put a hopper right next to the crafting table. And then on the other side of the crafting table, you have a nice hand towel. So, there is that. But 
once again, we still have the trouble with not having good lighting. So let's grab a chain and fix that up a bit. So from the roof, you can put up here a chain, oh, I forgot they added that, a chain coming down over the sink like that. And then you can off-center it by going two over. Add two more chains and then on that, da da And then you can do that one as many times as you feel as needed. So then right here as well. And there. Now you have a nicely lit kitchen and plenty of counter space and storage underneath. Okay, so now next we have to do is our lovely, very empty at the moment, library. So first of all, because you don't want, if you're moving into a house and you have built-in bookshelves, you're not going to have all the things that you'd normally have. Well, I mean, you're not going to have the books you normally have, would you? Because you haven't moved in yet. So, we're going to add some looms here to make it look like we have this empty bookshelf. And I actually have to tower up with something so that we can stand here and do that. So there's one empty bookshelf. And once again, I failed. <laughs> so let's go back up here and place it there. So now, so you make it look less like a, um, less like an empty bookshelf. Let's add these on the sides and then it looks just like an empty bookshelf. And there. Empty bookshelf on this side and then another empty bookshelf on the other side. Same style, same way we did the other one. And then, as we did the other one, put this on the side so it looks more like a bookshelf. Ta-da! We got this nice little bookshelf, but once again, like the kitchen, we don't have good lighting. So let's add some lighting there, and then... there. Now, when you move in, you can put a, like, a little desk or some chairs or a seating area over here. But right now, it's a built-in office library nook thing. Now, another thing that's normally built into a house is a bathroom. So, let's add some light and... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There, we have some light. And now, all we have to do is get another hopper. Yeah, because I lost the hopper that was in my inventory. So let's grab a hopper for the sink. And... Oops. Oh! I made a hole in the wall. And... There we go. We got a sink. And one thing I did forget in the kitchen is to add a spigot for the sink. So here's the spigot. And now over here we have to go add the spigot to the sink in the kitchen. <laughs> Ta-da! There we got the spigots in both areas. Okay, and now we need just a cauldron here and you have a bathroom. Okay, so for the outside of the house, for the windows, um... For the sides of the house that only have one window, or <laughs> more than one window, sorry, we add three 
of these. So three of these blocks, that one we don't touch and that one we don't touch either. And then one, two, three. Or, oh no, yeah, one, two, three on that. It might look better if you align it with the windows like that. One, two, three, and then on the other side, we do the same. I did that one a bit wrong. One, two, and then three. You don't add anything to that one. And then you do one, two, and three. You also do it to this side. One, two, and three. So there we got the log bits done. And so for the back door, we do like that. Make sure you put the trap door on the bottom of the block or else it would not hold the lantern. So, and then we also put buttons over the door like that. And then for the other side, it's a, a little bit different. So we separate it like that on this side. And then we put two buttons like that and a button over that window. And then over here, I believe I had done it like this, and then two buttons over that window. So that is the exterior of the house. Now I could do some gardening to it, like adding some bushes in this little area here, or some bushes over here in this corner. But for the basic uh, exterior of the building, and decoration of the building that is about it so thank you all for joining me on this little escapade build tutorial um chow trial thing i might do some more in the future when i find some interesting builds um and i'll show you all how to build them Thank you for watching, and if you create build tutorials and you happen to find mine, please tell me if I did okay or what I could improve on with them. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoy your brand new build, and I'll see, I'll see you next time. Goodbye everyone.